Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney with Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad. And I am so excited. About a year ago, we ran into them at Epcot and we rode Guardians together and we stayed in contact and they reached out and they asked if we wanted to go hang out again. So we're going to go have lunch at Disney Springs and they're going to do a nice little food and drink seminar with Chef Rick Bayless and then uh, head to Epcot and ride Guardians of the Galaxy again. So I figured I'd make a video and share all of our experiences with you. So we're going to ride some rides, drink some Dos Ombres, and have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day today here at Disney Springs, and I am so excited to hang out with Brian and Aaron again. Last time it was so much fun, and I feel like today is going to be even better. And we have a lot in store for us, so I think we're going to dive right on in and make our way over to Frontera. It is such a cool story how we ended up meeting Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul. Like I said last year, me and my friend Sean, we were hanging out in La Cava uh, at Epcot, uh, one of my favorite places in the world, and they were on tour promoting their uh, Mezcal Dos Hombres, and they ended up coming into La Cava, and uh, me and Sean started talking to them, and we found out it was their first time in Epcot, and they asked what they should do, and my friend Sean was like, you gotta ride Guardians, and they were like, well, can we ride? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, and I got a boarding group and uh, uh, we rode Guardians together. We rode it twice, actually. And honestly, it was like such a huge moment in my life. Like, I grew up loving Breaking Bad. And the fact that I was on Guardians of the Galaxy with you know, Walter White and Jesse Pinkman. Uh, and even Hal from Malcolm in the Middle. Like, Brian Cranston literally was like a father figure to me. Like, growing up watching Malcolm in the Middle. I thought it was just so interesting. And I loved it. And uh, we rode the ride and then we ended up uh, hanging out with them afterwards and we came to Frontera for dinner and uh, we're doing that today but in the opposite order so we're gonna start here at Frontera we're gonna have lunch chef Rick Bayless is also gonna be here and he's preparing some of like the best food that we can try some drinks made with those hombres and uh, we're just gonna hang out and then later on tonight we're gonna go over to Epcot we're gonna go to La Cava and we're gonna ride Guardians of the Galaxy with Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul again like honestly this is is so awesome like uh, it's it, the fact that like I, I'm like in this position right now like I would have never thought like this was something that I could have seen in my future and I'm just so happy that I get to share all my experiences with you Frontera always has these cool events happening here at Disney Springs and I feel like a lot of people don't know about it like today this event with Brian and Aaron it was open to the public anybody could have bought tickets and you know came and got to learn about some you know food and mezcal and it's really cool so if you guys are ever interested follow Frontera on Instagram uh, because that's where they post a lot of this stuff and it's not just like you know Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul they have other events happening here and it's always just like I said a, a really cool learning experience. I am excited to hang out at Epcot later on tonight and go to La Cava. I have my own drink on the menu there, if you guys didn't know. It's a PMM Old Fashioned. It's a peanut butter banana Old Fashioned. And uh, I'm excited to hang out in there. Uh, Brian and Aaron will probably swing by and make some avocado margaritas. And then we're going to go hang out in the park and we're going to ride Guardians, definitely. But I'm down to do whatever they want to do. So it might be all over the place, but I'm going to try to capture it all for you and uh, make a nice little video. The restaurant is all set up for a little food and uh, tasting demonstration here. And I kind of love it in here. The AC's pumping. Feels nice. I know. It's better. I thought summer was over. But Sean, you're so tall. Every time I turn around, I'm like, <laughs> it's so funny. I'm slowly zooming up. <laughs> Here is a look at the menu. Tasting lunch, Chef Rick Bayless and Dos Hombres, Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston. And then we get to start off with a welcome michelada and then uh, some guacamole and a lot of really good stuff. I'm excited for the red chili duck enchiladas and uh, ooh, a chocolate flan to finish up with. I'm excited. I'm already diving into the chips though. I love me some guacamole at 10 a.m. <laughs> Scoopsie guacamole. Scoopsie guacamole. And then I like to make a little sandwich. 
you also start off with two drinks made with Dos Hombres. And it's really cool because one is Team Aaron Paul and one is Team Brian Cranston. You got the fire and smoke and the fiesta. And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of fancy them the both. But then you have to vote, and I think they're going to tally them up and announce a winner of who has the better drink. I'm starting with Team Brian. Delicious. Well, definitely Team Brian. Oh, I think they're here now. How many times have you written? Oh, I can't count. <laughs> no. Yeah, they give me, like, uh, they let you know how many times you visit the day, but can you imagine if they can keep track of every time you ride around? They have, like, apps that do that, that you can, like, keep track of how many times and, like, what song you get and stuff. Yeah. They have apps that do that. And you're not doing it? I'm you not. I, I got too late. I found Disney out about people. it too late. <laughs> I'm ashamed. <laughs> can we get a photo with you? Where's your I have a photo. Oh, okay. Are you doing photos? Oh, well. Oh, Let's go. Now that everybody's here, I think Chef Rick uh, Bayless and Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston, they're going to do like a food demonstration. They're going to prepare some of the signature guacamole here and also make some drinks with uh, Dos Hombres, their mezcal. And then we're going to, you know, hang out, drink drinks and eat some food, you know? The good stuff. Here are the duck enchiladas, and I already ate too much guacamole, so I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to eat, but I also want to try it because it does look really good and it smells amazing. Here we go. This is so good, even though I filled up on guacamole. I think I'm going to keep going. So far, the food has been amazing and the atmosphere has been exceptional. Those are some big words for Elmo. <laughs> now we're going to try some Juan. We take the shots Yo, this is so good. The event was so much fun, and I absolutely love it. Like I said, follow Frontera on Instagram if you want to keep in the loop of all these cool things that they're doing. And now I think we're going to go home, rest up a little bit, and then uh, we're going to meet up with everyone uh, at Epcot later on tonight. And uh, I'm excited. Like I said, now I've got a bunch of guacamole, and I can't wait to eat probably chips and guac at La Calva when I get there. I've been eating chips and guac all day. Chef Rick Bayless made some of the best food I have ever eaten. Like those enchiladas, the duck, I honestly, I was like, I eat a lot of chips and guac, so I wasn't sure if I was going to finish it all, but I ate all of them. I ate all of them. Then the chocolate flan was good. The drinks were good. The whole experience was amazing. I absolutely love it. And uh, it's not over. We're going to make our way. Like I said, we're heading to Epcot. I'm the only person that changed my clothes. We stopped back at my house and had a nice little, a little break in between Disney Springs and now closing the Epcot. Yeah, we got to hang out in my pool. <laughs> Felt good. Yeah. I stopped by my house and switched out my shirt. I wanted to go a little Florida Stanley. You know, a little Florida Stanley. I love that they have a little pretzel. Oh, maybe I want to get a pretzel over at the Germany. I love the German, uh, the Germany pretzel. It's one of my favorite snacks at Epcot. It honestly seems a little empty today for a Sunday. Usually it's a little bit more congested right here in this area before you make your way into uh, Mexico, but I'm happy. Maybe we uh, can ride the Grand Fiesta Tour afterwards. Javier just brought over a tray of PMM Old Fashions. Look at that. Wait, I don't know which one to take it from. I'm afraid it'll fall. Oh! 
they have a nice little area set up because we're going to do a little drink demonstration right inside La Cava. How awesome is that? Just hanging out in here. And it's open to the public. Like people are still sitting down, just eating, drinking. Oh, I love the chips and guac here. I think we're going to get some. I just ordered some. You got some chips and guac? <laughs> That's the way. I couldn't be happier. Sitting at my favorite table in La Cava. I got a Topo Chico, a PMM Old Fashioned, some chips and guac. And we're just hanging out. Hanging out in La Cava. I love the chips and guac here. I know I said that about Frontera, but this is the original. I never had guacamole before I tried it here at La Cava, and ever since then I've been obsessed. La Cava was so much fun, but now we're taking it on the road and uh, we're making our way over to Guardians of the Galaxy. I can't believe it, I'm so excited. They were like, we got a ride. I'm like, we're doing it. I can't believe it. Do you remember? Yeah. I can't believe it. It's happening again. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Alrighty. Yeah. That's what happened last time. Hey, I love you. Yo, this is. I'm already, I'm already looking forward to the second time. You know what I mean? We gotta do it. It has to be better than the first. This fight is never gonna work. Lock in. Well, okay. I'm walking onto your vehicle.
was that and we even got to ride two times and the second time we ended up getting uh, everybody wants to rule the world and I just lost I was like that's my favorite song man this is great honestly it's it's just so cool how one little thing happened I think it was about a year ago wasn't it yeah about a year ago. about a year ago and here we are two years in the row two years in a row riding Guardians of the Galaxy with Aaron Paul and uh, Brian Cranston look at how beautiful it is out right now Wow the always, sunset. Always has the best sunsets in Florida. And the lights on Spaceship Earth are starting to turn on. What a magical night. And with that, I think we are done here today. I had so much fun. It was so cool hanging out with friends. I'm sorry the video isn't as long as like my normal videos, but I was just kind of relaxing and taking it all in. It was great to hang out with Javier and Ricky and Sebastian and Brian, Aaron, Kristen and Sean. Sean, my buddy Sean, he was there the first night. And I'm so glad that we got to go back again and probably uh, hopefully do it again next year, make it a tradition. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and also we got to ride guardians twice and we got uh everybody wants to rule the world on the second song and i ran a lot of people always ask what song do you get so i want to let you know but anywho's i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it and uh we'll see you next time bye I'm still trying to furnish my other rooms in my house but it leaves me a lot of carpet space for Gracie to run around for her treats look at her World. <laughs> she loves those cookies. You're so pretty. The most beautiful dog on earth.